<laughs> you mean to tell me that this game was released four years ago? And all the nights I've spent on Discord with my thumb up my ass because we don't know what game to play? The only reason I discovered this game is because my friend Charles is an asshole. I am, I am so sorry, Charles. <laughs> he decides to gift games to us without anyone's knowledge, kind of forcing you to play with him, or else, well, you're a bad friend, I guess? Well, it worked. Because not only would I buy this game again, I, too, would also gift it to a friend. Perhaps you'd call it paying it forward. Not paying it. You have to! The guy did it for you! You're the guy! Oh, just do it! You're rich! What? You know, one of the most amazing things about this game is the fact I never heard of this game. And after deliberately typing into YouTube, Intruder Game, did I ever find anything about it? Maybe it has something to do with typing in Intruder and not getting a whole bunch of, well, videos about intruders. The game is only being made by two people, so perhaps people are kind of aggravated at the progression that it's going, and well, to those people, I say a jolly fuck you. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is that this game doesn't have any PvE, so needless to say, you're going to need some friends for this game to, well, work well. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. And, well, if you don't, maybe like and subscribe, so one day, we can get so huge, we have a Discord with thousands. Well, that's plan A, and of course everyone knows what plan B is. Have as many kids as you can. Because that makes it more likely that one of those kids will grow up and make it big in Hollywood. Then who's paying the bills, eh? Hollywood kid. The game is essentially spies versus guards. One side uses sneaky techniques and silence to get to a briefcase that the guards are defending. And then once you get that briefcase, you make it to the extraction point. And then from there, you win the round. Very simple. Now, of course, the game can end up just becoming a team deathmatch. Work it, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> but that oddly doesn't always seem to be the case. Using stealth and crawling slowly while opening doors utilizing the scroll wheel, which, side note, it's genius. And these cool little gadgets to peek around corners is much more satisfying than just immediately going guns up and shooting everywhere. Defending is satisfying, especially setting up annoying little motion sensors that signal it's time to blow that IED you strategically placed. The game has this mechanic which makes for some really interesting moments. You basically ragdoll. You can do this by hitting a key, or if another player shoots you, you won't die immediately. You'll actually appear dead, and you'll just ragdoll. But you can actually just get right back up, and that makes for some quite interesting fights. God damn it. If you haven't noticed yet, there is VoIP in this game. You can also use a radio. That being said, it's very easy to forget who's on your team. Numerous times I've given an all clear to an enemy and vice versa. Oh, my bad. Wait, that's not it. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were- I can't stress enough how good of a time we're having with this game. It's like a comedic counter-strike. There's nothing but laughs when we play. This isn't a game that's gonna win a ton of awards, 
but it is a game that's going to give you and your friends a pretty hilarious time. So for those nights, you're in Discord and don't feel like shift Wing all over Warzone or Tarkov or whatever game you're playing at the moment, but just want to game with the boys, then well, this game will bring you quality entertainment. half off at the moment down to ten dollars so if this is something you can see yourself and your friends getting into i definitely go pick it up if you guys like the video consider giving me a, a like or a sub or a follow or whatever the hell you want to do thank you